How do you find a good goaltender and football manager? Well, it's not like finding good outfield players. As I've noted before, the trick to finding good outfield players is to look for pace and acceleration. The other attributes do matter, though some less than you might think. But keepers are different. You're not going to find one with great pace and acceleration, and even if you do, it's not going to help you. Now, I've been under a lot of scrutiny lately, but at least my transfers have been decent. The best transfer was picking up our keeper, Luke Southwood. Seriously, Southwood has been just incredible. He's bailed our defense out time and time again. I don't want to think about where we would be without him. Time and time again, he's come through for us. One big save after another. It's really been remarkable. Now, I'm convinced that I got a good deal on him. In fact, he's really been a mainstay of our squad. Despite all the controversy, despite all the complaining about contracts, despite all of the poor morale, we know that we can always count on Southwood. And we're going to need his consistency today. We're on the road today against KF Tirana. That means a trip out to Albania. Tirana are in 11th place. We should be able to beat them, but we need to be careful. Our morale is still bad, unfortunately. We're going to need a little bit of good luck to overcome the players who just don't want to be here anymore. And, you know, I'm getting kind of sick of saying that. Well, we're supposed to be pressing here, but we're not. And it's played cross field. Find themselves left. He drills one in through the crowd. He's got very... Look right here at how far off we're playing. To the left. It's good that we had Southwood. And Southwood makes two key saves here. Now we did mount an attack, as you can see here. Thank goodness for Southwood. Sweet feet. Dispatch clinically. Our first goal was a bit of a surprise. Look at how much space Rodriguez had. Kim Young won was one of the few Kashiwa players trying to attack. Look at this. This could be different. Quick transition. Southwood is over the line, isn't he? It's a bit more clear in 2D, but this still looks close. That's been well dealt with. Right in the thick of the action. But we can't have nice things. They equalized in extra time. Well, as you notice, this was another goal conceded on a set piece. We've been awful at that. If you have any suggestions, let me know. This really should have been a goal. And that was it. Another 1-1 draw on the road. It's not awful, but we need to start winning if we want to be promoted. Well, so back to our original topic. How do you find a good keeper? Well, when I found Southwood, I was looking primarily for three things. I wanted someone with good reflexes. I wanted someone who makes good decisions. Southwood is okay here, but I wish he were a little better. I also wanted someone with good agility, which is where Southwood excels. I recommend that you focus on those three areas. Reflexes, decision making, and agility. And of course, you've got to make sure that he isn't a disaster in all the other attribute areas. Well, unless he's 16, that is, because you can always develop kids who are really young. And as always, you need to pay attention to the coach report. You want someone who enjoys big matches. You want to make sure they have a good personality. Balanced here isn't great, but it's not a disaster. And he's probably not going to develop all that much more anyway. You want to stay away from inconsistency and injury proneness. And of course, you want to make sure he's a good player for your level. And there you have it. Now, my recommendation is to focus on reflexes, decisions, and agility. Also, don't be afraid to take a chance on a kid whose other attributes might look bad. 
Because you never know what might happen.